Hello and welcome to another week of energy reading with myself Thomas Janak and as you can see I have another guest. This is Shelly Smith. Mm -hmm. And please check out her work because the the web presence will be um, shown here on, on the video as, as you know. And um, uh, I've had had guests before and, and I will continue to have guests. It's always really, really cool. And also I get to get uh, I get to be out of the house and be somewhere else. <laughs> right? So um, I just put my coffee in the wrong place. Let me just get my coffee and then we continue here. <laughs> Don't mind me. Here we go. So today we're looking at the week of March. Um, where are we? Oh, here. Yeah. Sorry. 26th to, uh, to, the, to the 1st of April, April's Fool's Day. Um, and we have a full moon on uh, the 31st. And um, so full moon energy usually means, or oftentimes means, that the energy gets higher. That does not mean that the week is going to be low by default. We will figure this out as we go along. Before we go into the individual star signs, we have a look at the uh, overall energy for this week, which is, again, March 26th to April the 1st. And we are starting when we go to the individual star signs, we're in the star sign of Aries. Right? So let's have a look at the overall energy for this week. Let's see where we are. What I'm getting in the back of my head before we even go into the cards is um, it feels to me like what the, what the guides are showing me is like building work and road blocks and kind of stuff. So this will very likely be um, an energy week where we all have to do some work, have to put some, some work in and um, maybe even be a little bit free and, and maybe even make a little bit of space. And this is reflected in the overall energy week here with regards to the animal guys that I have. We have the bobcat and the kid fox. So this week for all of us we need to pay attention to to really see how much progress we have made. Really, really important. If you don't see how much progress you have made, you will not see that you're growing. And it's very easy to feel, well, shite really, <laughs> when nothing happens, but you have made a lot of progress. Uh, that's the first thing for all of us to look at this week. And then we have the kid fox. And that is an animal that lives in the desert and can't really escape its environment. And that just means that this is the building blocks that they showed me and the building work. is It's time this week to pay attention to what you can do to make space. And that could well mean, and we, we see it when we go into the star signs, um, that you need to tell people off, put them in their place, let them go, uh, move on from situations. All these things are depicted in the kid fox. Um, and that also means, because he's an animal that is semi-trapped in its environment, is to do this all very slowly. This is not a week where you go, tuck, and then, you know, um, deal harshly with people. This is a week where you pay attention to how much you have grown, so your self-esteem is important this week, um, and then slowly but surely make some space and some room for you that allows you to progress. And I feel strongly that this has to do with, with, with people, and therefore they sometimes need to go, need to be put in their place. Um, we'll see when we get into the star signs. I'll let Shelley pick, uh, kick, kick off with the star sign of Aries. Okay, so for the star sign of Aries then, I have a message from the universe has got your back cards. When I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. So for me, intuitively, look from a new perspective. Um, see the world from the eyes of love rather than the eyes of fear so find things that are joyful to yourself rather than looking from a place of lack also have um, some other cards here which are um, all about life changes and self-care is so important so when I talk about self-care, it's your inner, looking after your inner soul, so feeding your inner t uh, soul, mm -hmm. taking time for meditation. Um, meditation can be as simple as sitting there and taking a few breaths in and releasing any negative energy. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so let's go into Taurus. Um, my sister and my father are both Tauruses, and I said that a, a lot in other videos, that sometimes they can be their own worst enemies, <laughs> you know, being, being in their own way. We'll see what the universe has for Taurus this week. Let's have a look. Okay. 
And we have that a lot that we have sort of overlapping things for star signs. Um, we have the leopard and the spider. And what that really means is for Tauruses, it is a week to look at how individual you truly are. You do not have to fit in with the crowd. You may find that you never really fitted in and there's nothing wrong with it. But this is the week where you notice and realize how your uniqueness makes you who you truly are. And then you have the spider, which is the, the creator of the web of life. And that means that you um, decide how much space uh, people have that are in your life and also how much space you give yourself to express yourself in life. Well, this is a week uh, to, to realize your own strengths, uh, your inner strengths, um, and then realize that, that all you probably need is a little bit of, of, of space to express yourself, and that's all you need to do. Okie doke. That was short and sweet for Taurus going into Gemini. Okay, so for Gemini. Um, this week is all about when I surrender, I surrender more. So surrendering is letting go um, and letting go for the universe to come in for the highest good. It's all about spiritual growth. Um, so letting go what no longer serves you anymore. So you are able to move forward with um, spiritual growth, with lessons of love. Mm -hmm. That was Gemini, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that was Gemini. Going into going into Cancer, Cancerians. Let's have a look. And I actually draw to the other deck. And let's just see what we got for Cancerians. And like I said, we are um, talking at the week or uh, about the week Monday, twenty sixth of March to uh, April the first, twenty eighteen. And we have a uh, full moon on the thirty first. For Cancerians this week, again, I say that uh, a lot in my videos that um, people tend to have overlapping energies in a given week because the uh, Cancerians also need to have a look and see how much space um, you, you need and also how much progress you've made. It's quite important to realize you have come a long way. You're, you're no longer in that deep um, space of pain, if that makes sense. So, so I, I feel that a lot of uh, what this is about a lot for Cancerians is to to come out of stuff that feels heavy, that felt heavy. You have made a lot of progress. So pay attention to the progress you've made, not to the issues that are still in front of you and ahead of you, um, but see how, how far you've come. You also have the horse, which denotes um, the fact that, that a lot of things in your life is about rank and, and about um, having to um, stand your ground, fitting in somehow. And um, this horse here is a wild horse, which means freedom. So um, walk away from stuff um, that doesn't work for you. Uh, that doesn't mean you walk away for good, but you make space. You need a bit of me time this week and to realize, you know, it's, it's time I sort of paid attention to what's going on around me. Um, but on a whole, because you have made a lot of progress, the main message for Cancerians this week is to really see how far you've come and appreciate how far you've come. And remember that even though you may feel that your healing pro process on a whole is slow, you're still healing. And that's the most important thing, right? That was Cancerians, Cancerians going into Leos. Yeah. Okay, so uh, for this week, uh, the focus will be around honouring how you want to feel, feeling with inside yourselves, being really true to who you are, um, rather than listening to outside energies. Um, this is an opportunity for more spiritual growth as well, the more you listen to your intuition. And again, take that time to listen to your intuition by um, quiet time, meditation, um, journaling as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So Good. And now we're going into Virgo. Let's have a look at Virgo. Virgo is quite important this week because this will be a week where you are advised to um, look at your feminine side and that is the side that is nurturing, that is caring, this is the side that, that, that promotes self-love. So um, treat yourself kindly this week is important um, and you have the, the barn owl here 
um, which means that you will always be fine. Um, but right now you also need to pay some attention to what's been said around you. Um, and remember, you don't always have to respond to what's been said around you. Um, just pay attention to it so you know what people are sort of up to, if that makes sense. But your real job this week is to look at yourself the way you are and look at your kinder side and um, nurture that. So, so this is not a week for, for arguments, this is not a week for, for making harsh decisions, rush decisions. This is all a week where you take a step back, for want of a better word, um, and really nurture your, your kinder side and your more um, nurturing side. Okay? And that was Virgo going into Libra right now. Okay, so Libra is my sign as well. Um, so I really can connect to this. Through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in this world. So it's time for taking a step back to really listen to where you want to go forward, whether that's in your own personal life, in your business. Um, because um, look from within for love, because if you come from a place of love, then you can spread the ripple effect of peace into the rest of the world. I feel that a lot of um, Librians have um, a bigger message uh, than they're actually possibly aware of. So um, really meditate on how can you create a ripple effect of peace in this world. And also the other card is you are stronger than you know. So you may feel sometimes that you are not strong within, within yourself. But always remember this affirmation, you are stronger than you're actually aware of. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank that you. was Libra going into Scorpio. For Scorpios, it's quite interesting. The, the cards I'm using are what, what is called Animal Deities cards. So every card is a, is, is a depiction of a deity. And what um, Scorpio has is the plural of Animal Deities, which means all of them, Animal Deities. And what that really means is that your guides are all around you. You're fully protected this week. And this is important because the other animal that you have here is the seahorse. And 90% of seahorses do not make it in captivity. And what it really means is, where, wherever you feel trapped or stuck this week, you are already protected by your guides to do that step, make that step and get out, if that makes sense, and be strong enough to free yourself from things that hold you back. Right? So that's, that's the most important thing, because the seahorse is, is about strength, and every horse is about guidance. So your, your messages that you give to the world and your um, advice is usually sound. And if the people that you are with or the, the workplace that you're with are not appreciating um, your advice, that's where you also then feel trapped and stuck and non appreciated and not, not appreciated. And this is the week to realize it is time I changed all that and moved on, right? That was Scorpio going into Sagittarius. Okay, so for Sagittarius, Attack, pain and fear, and also judgment, are, um, forms of separation, and they merely cause for help. You have lots of decisions to make um, this week. When you feel that you are being attacked, or there's pain or fear, or also judgment, you can learn to let them go by making the right decisions but that will bring you more joy, peace and love. Mm -hmm. So it's really a way of maybe you're projecting your own fears out onto the world. Make a conscious decision of how you want to react um, and react through love which is ha through happiness and joy. Yeah, And also always remember that you only attract on your own energy. So yeah. if you give out something that represents fear, you will only attract fearful um, 
responses and, and people, if that makes sense. So it is really important, um, sort of inner strengths and how we, how we carry ourselves. Easier said than done, but it is the truth. Going into Capricorn now. Let's have a look. Capricorns. It is important for you to realize this week that you are what is called or referred to as the builder of bridges. Um, you're not alone on this planet. There are people that need you. You are very likely um, one of those perfect counselors that probably don't get paid for it. <laughs> so people will come to you and um, they can talk to you very well. You, you're a very good listener. You are indeed the builder of bridges. You, you help people. Um, and that also can drain you quite a little bit. Uh, but this week you have the moose as one of your spirit guides and the moose has antlers so you're fully protected as you find a way to not just be there for others but also put yourself into that place um, where you can take your own advice and where you can where you can move on so um, even though you will always be a person that other people um, come to if that makes sense um, partly your job this week is to find a way to protect yourself from being drained and realize that these skills that you have um, might lead to, to even a career in, in it. You're not less of a, of, of a counselor just because you say to someone, I haven't got two hours, I only can give you an hour today, right? At least you are, you are fully there for an hour. Um, and so, so this kind of thing is, is, is important this week for Capricorn. Going into Aquarius, which is our um, second last star sign of the week. Um, going into Aquarius now. Thanks. The energy this week is moving and um, moving in the right direction. You may have a focus on having uh, like one outcome. Instead of focusing on one outcome, pray for the highest good for all that's involved in this situation. But energy does need to move um, this week for yourselves and it is moving in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and now we're going into the final star sign, which is my star sign, Pisces. Yay! <laughs> it's always interesting when you read your own star sign, isn't it? Yeah. You know, you, you do feel a little bit more, if that makes sense, yeah. right? Um, but obviously, you know, one is also uh, much more interested in it, if that makes sense, because yeah. otherwise we're just giving information here, right? Oh, I, I love that already. What we have for Pisces this week, we have the crocodile and the elephant. And the crocodile has been on this planet for four and a half million years and hasn't changed once. Um, and that, when you look at it without ego, means that you're actually okay the way you are. You don't need to change. You don't need to please anybody. Um, and it's important that this week you look at yourself, or us Pisces, look at ourselves and acknowledge how awesome we actually are. See, one of the reasons why the crocodiles are actually revered in Native American lore is because they can take up to nine of their, of their youngs into the pouch of their mouths and bring them to safety. But it doesn't make the rating on, 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 on the television. So on TV, they're only being portrayed as these vicious characters, when in fact they have uh, many other sides to them, and one of them is, is a really nurturing side. But this week for Pisces, nurture yourself. Right? And I will definitely do that. The other thing that we have is the elephant. And the elephant is the animal that reminds us of the fact that we, we remember everything. And when you remember everything, you also remember the things that aren't quite working, weren't quite working, and that can put blockages in where you don't trust. And because you're perfect the way you are, and you're okay the way you are, it's time to move past these blockages and allow yourself to not work within patterns that are no longer working. Um, remember, for instance, if this is for you about love, um, if you don't trust, you don't really manifest anybody that you can trust, if that makes sense. And, and the deeper you go, the more vulnerable you are, but with this openness and this vulnerability might come the partner you are truly deserve, if that makes sense, even if it's just, a, just an example. But um, it can be a bit of a problem when you remember everything. And what the guys are saying is, don't get hung up on it, right? Just pay attention to how great you actually are, and um, that's all we need to do. Shelley, thank you so much. Thank you. Right? Thank you. That was good fun, and I see you all in a week's time. Have fun. Thank you.
Thank you, Thomas. You're welcome. Thank you. Let, let me just see. I, what I do is I always, yeah. when, when once I have filmed it, I, I, I look at the first yeah. minute yeah. just to see if it worked. Yeah. <laughs> it's technology, you know, you never know. Yeah. I never had problems with it. Uh, the more I do, the more relaxed. Hang on, hang on. My message, I feel, is to choose love over fear.